Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new project to share with you. And uh, this is some uh, seed uh, pots made out of toilet paper rolls. And uh, for this I used this paper from Graphic 45, Home Sweet Home. It's really gorgeous paper, I really love to create with this, it's so much fun you can do. So uh, I also filmed uh, this uh, blue one when I made it. So there will be a tutorial after this intro how to make it. And these are really great for a gift to friends or uh, and also it would be fun to make it uh, with the ABC primer as a teacher's gift. And uh, it's a lot of uh, symbolizing that she uh, watch uh, uh, the children grow and have to uh, feed them with, uh, here with uh, water and uh, yeah and uh, it also shows uh, a lot of uh, care so then I can maybe give you a close-up of this one first so and you will also find the pictures on my blog close-up pictures so this was really fun to make and it makes a cute little gift and this you also can just put uh, the seeds inside and uh, the person can water it uh, herself and uh, or himself and uh, yeah so but it's also uh, great to uh, do it before and uh, give it like this so and here is the other one I made first so then I will start the tutorial So for this uh, project I'm using uh, three toilet paper rolls but you can use as many as you like to and you can also uh, use uh, kitchen rolls if you prefer that. So uh, mine is about uh, three and three quarter high and I cut off one inch of the second and two inch of the third uh, toilet paper roll. But you can cut it off a uh, half inch, uh, do as you like to. So here I've already cut off one and I took my marker a bit around uh, down on the edge here and I also placed um, the score tape inside here. So and uh, here we need some plastic so this won't be wet when we water uh, the um, seeds. So but uh, if you don't have this uh, zipper uh, bag you can use uh, some um, some other uh, plastic and just form it inside here. So and this I can maybe give you the measurement on this. It's uh, three inch uh, wide, so I'm not sure you can see it. So then we will cut it off a bit. So just try to measure a bit here, and we will cut off the rest after. So then we place uh, this inside. So just fold this a bit in on the corners and take it inside here so so it reach at uh, the bottom not uh, like this because when we lift it up this will show up and if you prefer you can also um, glue on some hinges here and place this on a stand or a piece of shipboard so place it like so and then we take off the score tape form this around. Let's see if it's okay in the bottom. Yes. And then we can cut off the rest here. So here I'm going to use uh, some shark uh, tape, but you can use any kind of tape you like, washi tape or anything. But first I like to also take a bit of, um, it's not strong enough glue on this, so I take one more layer here with uh, score tape around. So, or you can use wet glue or, yeah. So. so. And then we can take the tape around here. And 
fold it. I fold a bit so like so first and then I fold it all the way in. So and then it's ready to take some decor paper on. And here I already cut it to size, so I cut it all the way up. So about six inch wide is mine, but you have to measure your roll here. And uh, I like to take and roll it a bit first, so you get the shape. So it's more easy to uh, get the glue to hold then. So here I also have some score tape, but you can use uh, any type of up, <laughs> any type of uh, glue you like to. So. So. And then I just hold it up like so. And so, so this was the middle one, and I already made some other ones. So uh, this was the large, a large one, and I wanted some stand like this. So here I've taken two strips of score tape, and I also want the score tape on here. So take that in the seam here, so then we can glue them together. But you can just hold them together with a belly band also if you like to. So uh, if you're going to give it away, you can uh, they can spread them out. So I think I glue this on here. So and then I have a couple of strips here. So we will see if that fits. I think so. So. And then we can decorate it a bit. And here I cut out the strip from the 12 by 12 and uh, backed it on some black paper. And I also formed it a bit uh, while the glue was wet here. I used some uh, Scotch uh, quick dry glue here. So then we can fold this around here, glue it together. So here I have uh, some Scotch quick dry glue in a fine uh, tip bottle. This I got from um, fine tip in UK so I will post the link to the seller below if you like to have one. It's really great for positioning the glue on small bits and pieces. So, try to hold it together here, see how much glue we want. Here about sure it will glue well down. So now it's uh, ready to be decorated a bit and I have some uh, fussy cutouts uh, here and uh, this I backed on some black paper. But if you don't like to fussy cut you can just leave it like so or use some stickers or anything. So position this here about and here I've layered it a bit. So see how we want it here maybe and behind here some chicken here and I also cut out this uh, farm fresh and uh, place the hinge here and cut into the hinge here so I will place this over here so I think I will glue this on off uh, camera so you don't have to watch all the gluing so then I'll be back maybe show you here a bit. I like to bend it out a bit so they don't stand flat and just to glue a bit on the side here, like so. So now I glued uh, most of it uh, on and also placed some soil inside here. But uh, this I want on the side, I maybe show you this first because I've uh, cut it out many layers here and placed it on top of each other. And I used my hot glue gun in between here just to create some dimension here. So this I think I will have on the side here. So this wasn't proper glued yet, so I need to hold it a bit. 
So now I think it's glued, so now we can take some uh, seeds inside. Here I have some salad. So we just spread a bit in here and some more soil over here. So a bit of a mess here. So I'll take some water on, or you can just uh, leave it like this and uh, the receiver can uh, water it uh, uh, themselves. And also I want some... Um, uh, here I put in salad, so I want uh, this to stand in. And here are some, I'm not sure the English word, some ice uh, uh, pins. So uh, here I used a stamping up uh, punch to make this. But you can also just uh, cut out from the paper these and put inside. That would also be fun. So, but I can show you how these are made. So put this inside here, so like so. Hope you can see it. And um, this is uh, the punch I'm using. So I'll show you here. It's a bit uh, too large, so then I just uh, punched out one of these, and then I glue a bit. Let's see, I think I need a stripe here. So this you can do with uh, many sort of uh, punches. Not far too much glue. And then I take it inside again. And this is the size about I like to have. So then I punch it one more time. So then you can back it on some black paper and glue it on the pin and write the name. So I hope uh, this tutorial uh, was helpful and that you will give it a try. It's a great uh, friend gift and uh, yeah, really fun to make and it goes fast also. It takes the time here is uh, all uh, the fussy cutting. So, but you can do it really easy. And also if you have any questions, please uh, look below the video. There you will find the information how I answer them. And you will also find the link to my blog where I will post some uh, close-up pictures. So take care everyone and have fun creating. Bye bye.